Guys, we got a new warehouse for Christmas. Literally the best Christmas gift ever. Well, the second best Christmas gift ever, but that's for a different video. In this video, we're gonna tell you exactly how we got here and we're gonna give you the grand tour. We've been working really hard all week trying to get this place somewhat put together. So anyway, here we go. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. Brucey, hello. I didn't know the space game with a free dog. So yeah, our intro is uh, a little outdated now. <laughs> a couple of you have pointed that out. We want your help to write the script for the new intro. Leave your suggestions and your ideas down below. Yeah. Type up a whole script if you've got one in your head ready to go and uh, we might just use it. We'd love to hear what you guys have. So we have been working on getting this place for a very long time. Getting a commercial warehouse space has been one of our biggest goals. Even way back when we lived in North Dakota, we were dreaming of having our own space where we could build and work. And that time finally came this fall. You guys remember, we announced that we needed a space, we took you guys on tours. We even got into negotiating some of the spaces that you guys saw on the video. And then we saw this place. We were headed out of town and an hour before our flight, our broker calls us up and says, hey, you've got to see this place. Well, we come in and we immediately fall in love with this place. It's a little bit awkward because it's two spaces sandwiched together to make one space. You'll see all this in the tour, but the, the office space is split into two. One side for one business, one side for the other. And that makes this space a little bit of an ugly duckling, but it's perfect for us because we have two businesses. We got the YouTube media side of the house and then we've got the woodworking and building side of it. It's perfect. The layout was exactly what we were looking for. The warehouse was more than we could have dreamed of and it was all for a great price because this was a bit of a unique space. Anyway, we fell in love with it. We told our broker that we had to have it and here we are. We got a call last week from the property manager saying, hey, all your renovations are done a little bit early. Do you guys want keys a few days before Christmas? And we thought, oh, Christmas came early and we said, yes, please, and came and picked up the keys. And now this 4,200 square foot space is ours, at least for the next few years. So we came, we got the keys, we ran home and we started packing. Everything's still at the house. It feels so dirty to like smash right where your thumb is. It's like you've spent your whole life trying to avoid that, but now I'm trying to do it on purpose and my brain won't let me do it. I can't find Jenny, I need help packing. What are you doing in here? I was calling somebody. Who are you calling? A lead. You're making sales calls? Yeah. You're over here trying to make money. I can do both. Well, I'm trying to move. Good job. so bittersweet packing up this little room. There's so many memories, like everything that we pick up, there's a new memory with like, oh, why we got it or why it's in the office. And then like taking the stud stack map down off the wall, that just, that hurts a little bit, but we know that it's going to a better place. I'm just, I'm just got a lot of emotions right now. I'm overwhelmed, I'm excited, I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm, I'm happy, I'm sad. I just, all of the above. 
this is one of those like days where like you just know your life is never going to be the same after yeah. today like no more can we just roll out of bed and, and start working like we no longer work from home we have a place to go to work we got to yeah. commute there's a lot of good that comes from it and then there's a lot of like yeah we have a commute now and it's more gas but i think it's gonna keep us on task more when we need to be and off task when we need to be it was very hard to manage our time working at home right. um, we're not very good time managers to begin with and then when you give us ultimate freedom of doing whatever whenever it was a recipe for disaster but now having standard work hours i think is really going to help us be more productive be more efficient and let us relax when we come home yes for so Not many stare at the fulfillment station and the 10 boards that i need to fulfill the next morning just chill i think the house can become a place to recover and rest instead of always being on but there's that season of your life where you just gotta hustle yep and man now we got rent to pay so uh, we're really no. gonna have to bust it <laughs> Anyway, so I think the cars are loaded up. We gotta make another trip over to the unit and uh, start setting some stuff up. New day, new Bucky shirt. Um, before we head to work today, that feels so good to say, <laughs> uh, we need to finish the black wall you saw from yesterday. And we've got a little geometric design we wanna make with some plywood strips. So we gotta cut those up, bring those to the thing. And we also gotta bring the miter saw station so we can cut the angles correctly. Yes. So. The time has come to chop this table in half. In order for this to fit in the new space the way that we want to, as the podcast table, we need to chop it right about here. Podcast table. Podcast table. What do you think? It's so cute! Do you like it? Yes, my colors look great. I am very happy with my choice. Yes, yes. I like the desk. What about mine? I don't think so mine's cute. cute. Yours is very nice looking. Mine is adorable. Anyway, I think that's enough footage now. Let's give you the full tour. Jenny, can you turn on the lights? All right, well, this, where you're seeing us record right now, is our studio. This is where Jenny and I, this is where our desks are gonna be. This is where all the magic is going to happen uh, as far as the YouTube side of the house is concerned. And the podcast side of the house. We got a little podcasting table right there in the middle. Yep, if you spin around, this is going to be where our editor sits. We have hired an editor to help us with the YouTube and podcasts and all sorts of stuff. He will go there 
and this is where all the camera gear is. This is the most put together part of this <laughs> entire space. We've been working on this nonstop for a week and this is as good as it looks. Um, anyway, let's keep going. So right through here, you're, we've got a little kitchenette area, a uh, little mini fridge, microwave, that sort of thing. Uh, bathroom, a couple of y'all pointed out that the bathrooms were like in between the front door and the, off and the office space. There's a door there, so you don't have to walk through the bathroom uh, to get to the offices. That would be really gross. <laughs> yes, they're separated. Then we've got a nice little entryway here. It's full of trash at the moment, but um, don't know what we're gonna use for this area yet. Uh, most of this has not been decided. The most put together part of this is what you just saw. Um, now we're stepping over into the Samara side of the house. This is the other entryway room. Um, so we literally have two separate entryways that go into each business. And then as you'll see in a minute, each business has its own garage door on each side too. So we're thinking this might be a break room or something for the Samara people. Um, we've got another little room here second bathroom and then in here is going to be i don't know yet right now it's sort of the samara storage area and i want to do a lot of staging so in our house i never had enough room to take really good pictures of our boards and definitely not kitchen tables so that's what i want this room to be is staging and pictures and social media and all that stuff so yeah and then if you keep going through this room you come into the samara sales room which is the biggest room um yeah, you want to talk about this area of space? Yes, yeah, so this is probably where I'll be hanging out and spending most of my time. So I have my desk over here in the corner. I'm going to have a nice little decorative area over here. I basically just want to enjoy spending time in here because I'm going to be doing so much work. So I've got a little spot where you can chill, sit on the couch, have some coffee. And it also is a really good backdrop for uh, like Instagram reels, TikToks, that kind of stuff. So I want to be a really nice looking office and then still have plenty of room for when we hire more salespeople. All in all, it's what, like 1,300 square feet? of office space I think yeah something like that so um, plenty of space and storage for us yes. um, we haven't even started putting like cabinets and bookshelves and that sort of stuff in here that'll offer a lot more storage too yeah all right so we're back on the Samara entrance and as we come through here there's a door that goes to the warehouse and boom, we got a big garage door here. So this is where all the material is gonna come in. It's maybe 12 feet wide. No, it's bigger than that. I don't know. It's about 12 feet. Look at all these nice lights we have for video. We paid extra to put these in. And look up. And look at the big prize. We got two big ass fans. That's the brand name of the fan company. So don't demonetize me, YouTube. We're still a family friendly channel. Um, yeah. It just, so we get two of those fans because it's Houston, it's gonna get hot. Yeah. Check these things out, there you. Davis is just having a little bit of a moment. He's very excited about his big ass fans and the warehouse. I don't deserve it. <laughs> Feel how much air is being moved from this fan. Jenny, show me your hair. Yeah, there you go. See how much it's moving? Stop moving your head. There's a lot of hair. Even my hair is doing stuff. What little I have left. We got breakers on breakers on breakers, and we're gonna get an even bigger panel down the road once we get some real big equipment. Another fan over in this corner, just to keep things moving. So this is gonna be the biggest area right here. Jenny, go stand in the corner for scale. So this area here is going to be the main assembly and building area for the bigger furniture. Hopefully all of the cutting and charcuterie boards will be done along that wall where Jenny is so that by the time the production line comes from the door all the way to this corner, the cutting and charcuterie boards are finished. And then here is where we will assemble and build the tables. We got power routed all the way throughout. Where's the light switch on this side? Oh. It's so oh, bright. It's so bright. I love it. This is great. It looks good on camera, which is exactly what we wanted. Yeah, we had them redo all the lights in here too. They just had like two fluorescent bulb fixtures and it was just not enough light. So And then we also got another big garage door down here. Another door going into the office here. And, and then we shop sink. We paid extra to have this janitorial sink here. 
um, just because we're going to be spraying finish. We're going to be doing all sorts of stuff. It's just really nice to have a sink in the shop. So mm -hmm. um, that'll be super duper nice. And then show them our little port, oh, our special port. We have so today. along this wall, so the <laughs> offices are in this little shipping container looking thing. Um, but along this wall is going to be cutting and charcuterie board fulfillment. So on the end down here, we had them run a rooftop port for uh, laser exhaust. It doesn't create a lot of smoke. Eventually we're gonna get a much bigger laser than the Glowforge. If we're running it nonstop all day, I don't want the space filling up with smoke. So it's gonna vent out to the top yep. there. It's and there's filters nice. and stuff, so don't, don't, don't at me. <sighs> this is it. This is the empire as of <laughs> the end of 2021. Look at what we were able to do in just a couple short years. I can't, like my brain, I just, we're so blessed. I can't, I can't think about it too much or I'm gonna cry like a little baby. Couldn't do that in the garage. Well, you could, you just would have broken up. Oh, uh, yeah, no. trying real hard not to be dramatic. I know a lot of times we play up the emotions and stuff for the YouTube views, but like, this is 100% real. I just am really overwhelmed right now. I just can't believe that we are at a space where we could afford this. And like, to think that we, we quit our super stable military jobs on the hopes that we could do this in another city. We moved to Houston. We didn't know anybody. We had the email address of a friend of a friend. That is the only person we knew in this city. And we came here, we rented a house, <laughs> we left for a year, COVID happened. We started the business with just a couple tools in the garage and now we're here. <sighs> Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan. Go ahead and subscribe so you can see where we put everything and figure out how we're gonna do workflows and all sorts of stuff. Let us know your suggestions for our new intro script down in the comments and we can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.